Hey, what's happening guys? I've got another Arduino for Kids project for you. And this one is pretty simple. We're using only three components in Arduino. I'm using a Nano here in this case, but you can use any Arduino that you have. A resistor, in this case it's 330 ohms, and an LED. But there's something a little bit interesting about this LED, so let's zoom in. This LED is an RGB LED, which means there is a red, a green, and a blue LED all in this single package. And so instead of like a regular LED having two legs, an anode and a cathode, this has three anodes and one cathode. This second leg here, which is usually a little bit longer, is the cathode. And then we have anodes for red, green, and blue. So to set this project up, all you need to do is run that resistor, like I said, I'm using the 330, from that cathode to the ground rail. And then you're going to need three jumper wires. Run the red over here to digital 9 the green to digital 10 and the blue to digital 11. That's it. That is the entire project. And what we're going to have here is an Arduino controlled mood light. So this is going to use a little bit of trigonometry to smoothly flow between colors. You put this in your room at night and it's just something cool. All right, let's go take a look at the code. Hey, let's look at the code for the Arduino for kids mood light. If you forget how to hook up your RGB LED, there it is right there. So we start off with three defines, LED zero is on pin nine, LED one is on pin 10, and LED two is on pin 11 and of course, that's LED1 is the red, LED2 is the green, and LED3 is the blue. Next we're going to set an integer variable called brightness at 200. You can play around with this number to make your mood light brighter or dimmer. Then we're going to create three integers called red, blue, and green and set them all for zero. Yes, I know, I changed the order. Just to mess with people with OCD a little bit. Then in our setup, we're going to set all three of our pins to output. So pin mode LED 1 comma output, pin mode LED 0 comma output, and pin mode LED 2 comma output. Now here's our loop, which is going to run as long as this thing is turned on. And we're going to do a for loop. We're going to say float variable x equals 0. As long as x is less than pi, what's pi? 3.141 something. Then x equals x plus 0.12345 more zeros and a 4. Why? Because. Okay, now we're going to uh, create the values for our changing light. So red equals brightness, which is our variable we set above, times an absolute value of the sine of x times 180 divided by pi. And then green. So what we're doing here is we're changing how they all go through their brightness so they're not all going up and down the same. Equals brightness times the absolute value of the sine of x plus pi divided by 3 times 180 over pi. And finally blue equals brightness times the absolute value of the sine of x plus 2 times pi divided by 3 times 180 divided by pi. Why 180 divided by pi? Because pi is a reference to what the diameter of a circle divided by its circumference or something along those lines. So 180 is half of a circle. Trigonometry. Learn it. Live it.
look it up when you need it because, yeah, it's trig. Okay, anyway, then we're going to send our values to those, uh, those LED pins. Analog rate, LED zero, red value. Analog rate, LED one, green value. Analog rate. LED to blue value. Can anybody tell me why we chose pins 9, 10, and 11? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. Because those are PWM pins, and to use the analog right, we need a PWM pin. All right, that's it. Lesson's over. Let's go look at this. Alrighty, we got the code uploaded. Let's power it up, zoom all the way in here on our LED. And I'm going to put a little bit of film over top of this here to kind of not blind the camera so much. And then you can see it shifting through all the colors. And that's a pretty cool effect. Now, if you have, for instance, a little glass or white plastic bottle you could sit over top of this that will diffuse this and make it even cooler now if you have the a glass bottle you're gonna to need to put something inside of it to diffuse it and I'm not gonna get into that but I like a white plastic bottle that's kind of thin you just sit it right over top of that and you've got yourself a pretty cool mood light that'll work basically as long as you leave it plugged in so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this little project if you did please give me a thumbs up <laughs> feel free to comment share don't forget to subscribe and thank you guys we're almost at 2000 subscribers that is truly awesome this channel is a community and it wouldn't be a community without each and every one of you. So I appreciate you all. Have a great evening.